Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be doing a solo run of this week's PvE competitive playlist for Guardian Games, which features the new Destiny 2 Lightfall Strike Hypernet Current. Now the idea of the playlist is to go in, get as many medals as you can from getting certain kills with certain weapons, streaks, so on and so forth, and finish off with a high score. Now, if you get a Platinum, at any time during this, it allows you to open four chests that are behind the vendor, giving you a whole bunch of rewards. One of them being the ridiculously named Scout Rifle that I'm not going to attempt to name because I can't remember what it's called. But I am using it in this run. Uh, it, it, it's for first strand Scout Rifle. It is a, it is a lightweight frame, <clears throat> so you run faster basically when you're when you're using it. Lightweight frame. I I tested this run out on stream. I am streaming again, so if you want to come and support the channel, just kind of watch what, we're, what I'm doing. Uh, I will leave a link in the description because I have a separate streaming channel, YouTube streaming channel, to this channel. So come over, support the channel, say hi, see what we're up to. But the runs I was doing on there, I was using Wither Horde and I was using an SMG to go with this machine gun. And once I come off stream, I realised it's all about medals. So, so there's overloads unstoppables in here. I did change to a bow and I felt like the bow was working. And that's when I figured, well, why don't I use Trinity Go? Because I'll be able, be able to get multi kills and slaying out getting, getting, getting multi kills is what this is all about getting as many kills with the same weapon back to back and as you can see there heavy frenzy giant slayer there's tons of different ways to get medals now i'm using uh, strand so I, I i have got an unstoppable uh, weapon on which is the scout rifle that hopefully by the end time this video ends i will have remembered the name of although i'm not too sure why because it's it's part of bungie's secret kind of i'm sure they've got a team that's got a Scrabble board and they just empty the Scrabble board out onto a table and then piece those letters together and come up with names for stuff. But uh, my grapple grenade on Strand will stop Unstoppables and Trinity Ghoul this season bows are Overload so we'll be using that for Overload. Uh, picking up orbs I will still get because of the artifact. I will still get Volatile Rounds so if I produce orbs which I will with my helmet uh, I've got I think void siphon and arc siphon on so I will be producing orbs from uh, both of my primary weapons and I don't just mean primary as an ammo I mean primary as the weapons I'm going to be using so as you've seen when we got there we've got two unstoppables nothing too major just you know slay out as many enemies when you get there as you can using if you can the same weapon to get the medal and <clears throat> remember to be mindful of the unstoppables always keep your eye on them so that you can get a grenade down and just immobilize them with the grenade now this is the first real kind of area now you've got a bunch of snipers it's worthwhile trying to take them out because if you don't they will pot shot you for the whole of this fight i like to stay up here during during this fight because all the ads will come to me apart from this first area which as you can see Trinity Gold does a damn good job of clearing out enemies that maybe I can't even see but chain in the light and will see them once you've cleared I would say about 90 95 of the enemies sent to the enemies then you will get a tormentor highly annoying new enemies that have came in with the uh, lightfall so you'll get a tormentor and you'll get to start with an, an, an unstoppable as you can see there I've just popped my super. The other thing you can see, we've got gold weapon empowerment. And I think there's uh, ability empowerment as well. When you get the gold weapon empowerment, you do a little bit more damage. When you get the ability, you get your... Uh, you can see that max empowerment. And you can see, if you look at my super bar, it's shooting up like nobody's business. That's kind. It's kind of helpful, and it does help you be able to get your super back because the strand super is very strong against everything, stronger than most of the other supers, I would say, because it has no exotic that really that's going to buff the super. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to whittle him down, 
because we get a second wave of ads, which is why I'm making my way back up here and I'm not firing my super. And once we get him down roughly, I would say, close to his last health bar, you see there, just, just, just under halfway, we get my second wave of ads that is practically identical to the first wave. So we've got another unstoppable. So I'm just, you can see, you can basically see the crux of what we're doing here, which is I am uh, waiting for the ads to come. I'm throwing a grenade at the unstoppable, which is immobilizing them. Just having a look here, I can see on my radar there's still a bunch of enemies. You want to kill all enemies that you can. And you can see I'm, I'm burning my heavy, but because it's a void weapon, and I've got uh, Bricks from Beyond on the artifact, which means void weapon kills have a higher chance against heavy enemies, have a higher chance of dropping uh, heavy ammunition. Because I've got that on, then using my heavy to kill heavy ammo, heavy enemies can drop ammo, heavy ammo. Now, if you look at the timer, we're at about five minutes forty. Because of the power level of this, you've got about tw you've got twenty minutes before you start losing score. So, I was going at the kind of pace where I wanted to finish it under twenty minutes. Just watch the timer when we finish. It couldn't have been any more clinical. So, we've got another unstoppable. This first kind of third of, of the, the strike, you get no overloads. It's all unstoppables. And then it seems like it's at the start, you get all your, your unstoppables, and at the end, you get all your overloads. Now, as far as I'm aware, your weapons aren't locked. So, you could actually change your weapons. But because I didn't try during the strike, I don't want to say for 100%. So, there's a couple of enemies up here, and, yep, another unstoppable. So, by the time we get up here, you'll see here, throw a grenade, which will search him out. Throwing the grenade gave me more ability. Now, the reason why I put a bit of damage on him before I fired my super is because, because he's got a shield, sometimes the super just goes for the shield, and you do next to no damage. So, now... We're, this is this is a reoccurring thing. Those uh, those minotaurs. When you when you kill those minotaurs, the void shielded ones that kind of lit up, they will drop an arc skull. Now it's basically a weapon. It has been in the game before these kind of skulls, uh, and I it'll come back to me. I can't remember exactly where they were before, but this isn't a new mechanic within the game. The skulls. They operate very similar to uh, the, the 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 holdable the, the holdable artifact within the Leviathan, and then that was brought back in Vow of the Disciple. O operates very similar to that. It's very powerful, so we will utilise it at the boss because you get a load of them at the boss. But also another thing it does is as you're firing that skull. Anything that hits, it will generate super ammo for you. A su super ability for you. So what we're going to do is now we've took out. You use them to take the. You use them to take out the blights. There's three in here. Two of them will disappear and one will stay. Now once you make sure you're over by the ones that you need, uh, in case the one you're holding is the one that will disappear, and then take that one up here and shoot this kind of. Blight Donut. Once you shoot that, all the Blight Donuts will disappear and you can just drive past here with no darkness blasts coming at you at all. Makes this section a hell of a lot easier. But we're also going to get off with Sparrow and we're going to kill all of these. Now, I remember when i done this as a GM, i done it as a team. I haven't soloed any GMs this season. Uh, maybe I'll touch, that, touch upon that in the stream a bit a bit more as to why uh, when, when I was doing this as a GM this is kind of what we've done uh, and when you had to get the the scores on Legend and Master so when I was doing it on stream I was, I was just focused on the time it was when I had a chance to think about it today I realised I should have been killing these enemies because well it's medals and you can't really pass up free medals and these are free medals as you can see we've got arc we've got primary rampage 
We got Alk Rampage. A lot of points. Maybe, maybe 10, 15,000 points there. So, that is that. So here we are. Now we're, we're on to our initial overloads. Now you can see I've got an Arc, an Arc Skull there. So what we'll do, you see how powerful that is. We'll just stop the, the, the overload. We'll pick it up. We're going to get past these bombs and use the Arc Skull to take out. There's five. The two we just killed. One up here. There is an overload, but there's one red bar sniper up here. Hobgoblin sniper. There he is. And then we're just going to push this Hobgoblin sniper. Get past the bomb. Drop the skull. Stop him. And then use the skull to finish him. Easy money. Now, a couple of ads. Two, a couple, four all in. Four of those uh, vandals and taken vandal snipers. And we'll just clear him out. There's... And there's two captains. That one we just killed. As you can see there, uh, there's there's another of the captains. So two captains, four vandal snipers in this little area. But the t the taking boots and and the donut blasts. They're, they're the things you've got to watch out for. Now this is my second not tricky area. You just have to be careful. You see here, I'm got propped volatile. I have got. I'm going to take these. Uh, take these minotaurs out each of those minotaurs have dropped me a uh, an arc skull so now I'm using my my bow to chain shots and take out all the the little guys now what I'm gonna do is go back to my arc stop him and then use the arc skull just to melt him and even from range you know it doesn't care about anything shields or whatever it's not bothered now I'm going to use this, the skull for its one of its primary purposes, which is to take out these donuts. Now, when you take about half of them, just over half maybe, you'll see there, rifts closed, 25%. Right, so when you get to 38%, uh, you spawn in another wave of ads. One of those waves is three minotaurs, and, uh, three ogres in the center, and then a bunch of these take and throw. The, our bow will make light work of them so you can I, I don't want to waste time but especially the boss what you can do is you can sh you know chaperone them to come at you so that one bow kills the maximum one shot from your bow will kill the maximum amount so you see there there's still one there's still one to be closed there he is he never showed up as as a thing so I'll just grab that and then I'm going to drop this and I'm going to grab the full one and take that up. 12 and a half minutes, 170,000. Easy money. We're going to pass platinum pretty quickly. So, the boss room, for some people, might seem intimidating. It's not, right? You just have to be aware of where the ads spawn and where you need to go. So, I'm, I've come over to this side. The boss is going to come up. The reason why I've came here is when he comes up, where when I attack, this is the fastest. This side or the other side, exactly the same place, are the 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 fastest places where it'll be unshielded. So I fire my super. Then we get a foot. We're going to get a full wave here of uh, cabal taking cabal. The ones where you see there, that's, that's a full wave gone. But we'll kind of want to try and focus on. If we can, you can't always, you see we're getting, we are getting kind of smashed, but I'm getting greedy with my, my time here. Almost, almost got all of the cabal just, just from there. Right, I made sure I was in cover, so I could step back into cover. So now I'm just going to kind of hang about until I get my super, which hopefully will be in two seconds. Now, when the boss... It's always fire what's up here. The boss has got a couple of different places he goes, right? Now, when when you do damage to him, you might, you guys will probably know this already. I'm just trying to put the pieces together for you guys so you understand exactly what's going to happen. When we do enough damage to him, he's going to move directly behind where he is now, right? And then you'll get, this is wave one, where you get the blights, right? Can't jump up there and be affected, but... You also get a wave of bats. 
right? And the wave of ads is quite a few thrall. If you can attack them quickly, now as you can see, I have not. Uh, he, oh, he moved to the other side. Whoops, it's that side he goes to start with, right? Yeah, it's that side he goes to start with. It's directly behind he goes for the next one. I didn't put my rift down. Could have, because I was saving it. Because sometimes you can panic, put your rift down, and then when you actually need it, you don't have it. I felt as if there was enough cover around me where I could have just kept moving around. So, first wave, he moves to where he is. Why hasn't he moved from the mid? Is that what? I thought he went. I thought he went to behind where we are now. Did he? Was that where he was? No, he stayed in the centre, right? Right. That's what happens. When this wave comes out, when you take out the blights, that's when he moves. When you take out some of the blights, you get another wave of ads, right? Now, they'll all be down this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this arc eye to take out some of them. And then, as you can see, the bow. When you can shepherd them, that's what I was talking about. When you can... Shepherd them out in one area. Uh, makes it very light work to take those ads out. Now I'm going to take out the last two waves of the... Every time the boss leaves his safe, safe space and moves, you'll get lo those platforms that we're getting up on top of. You'll get these, but there'll be different objectives. This objective is, you'll still get the two Minotaurs, but this objective was to take out Blights. The next objective is to take out the Blight Donuts. So now we've got a wave of Hobgoblins and Goblins. But now the boss is going to be firing Darkness Blasts. He's also going to be firing those uh, those uh, darts at us. So I'm just going to use this cover and just melt away. See, I've got my, I've got my Rift if I need it. I'm not, not using it because I'm forgetting I've got it. I'm just... Saving it for when I need it. So we've got my super. So what I'm going to do. Just collect some orbs. Fire the super. You see there. I've seen the darkness. The, the void darts. Those axiom darts. And now. What I'm going to do. Is I'm going to use. And you can see. If you watch how much super I'm going to get. Just from using it. So I'll just take them down like that. And then use my super. That should just about do it the, the the arc skull the arc skull can take out those darts but I didn't want to waste I've got 52 it's kind of strange you've got ammo for it seen you've got you've got 100 shots I still had 52 in it now I'm going to put my, my rift down so I can survive because it's going to be arc blasts uh, darkness blast sorry I'm not going to pick the nut up I'm going to watch for these darkness blasts and there's, there's more ads come in. Another wave of, The first wave you get will always be, because you get two waves per round. One is just throw. The other will be, as you can see, the, the, the first time we got taken Cabal. Second time we got uh, Hobgoblins and Hobgoblins. Take out some of these donuts. Uh, the third wave... So I'm talking about the heavier wave. I'm going to just take some of these out. The, the, the heavier wave you're going to get uh, is, is going to be a gob, uh, Cabal again with taking Scions. So I'm in the right place. So I'll just take these darts out. Be, be mindful of the boss. You've always got to be mindful of the boss. Because the boss is not only just firing... All of his attacks are coming in now. Solar attacks. And, uh, darkness blasts. To go with his axiom darts. He kind of builds up to this. The first... During your first damage phase, when he first spawns in, you'll get the solar, but you won't get the darkness... I can't remember if you get the darkness blasts. But you don't get the axiom darts. You get them from the second phase in. Now I'm just trying to finish off all the heavy enemies you can see there. 19 minutes, just just over 19 minutes. There's one still down there. He's the last, I think. Fire my super. And there we go. And now I've got this 
So I've got to be careful. You can see there. Put those coming in. I'll use the the skull to take out the axing bolts. And now I've got a super. Again. Big damage that. Big damage from that super because you get the initial damage from the shot. Then you get the explosive damage and there you go. And that. 239,763 that's top 10% I was very happy with that score I won't be looking to beat that and that's how you do it guys thanks all for watching you guys know I always appreciate it. I appreciate all the messages when I wasn't well and yeah feels good to be back so hope you enjoyed the video good luck with your runs I'm sure you guys will be able to replicate that kind of score take it easy and I will see you either on stream or on the next one